Oh, okay, so day two, uh, as you'd expect, is the second most important technique. You're already working on your sleep, which is the most brilliant foundation for everything. But wouldn't it be really useful to have a technique in your back pocket that you can use at times of high stress or anxiety to bring those levels right down, but also to allow your daily levels to reduce and just become a lot calmer and in control. So I've taught this a lot on here before, but there's no harm in a reminder. It's a breathing technique called 7-Eleven. And the way that I teach it is if you imagine a caveman coming out of his cave and a tiger jumps out of the bushes in front of him and that caveman goes, because <gasps> he's scared. There's that big intake of breath from his chest. That's brilliant because that sets him up for flight, fight, flight or freeze. So he, his heart rate goes up, his blood pressure goes up, his cortisol starts going around his body because he's ready to run away or fight it. Now, that's really, really useful if you're a caveman and there's a tiger involved. It's not so useful if you are trying to go into school, trying to sit an exam, trying to have a conversation with your boss that's a bit tricky, all those sorts of things that heighten um, that panicky feeling inside us. But the good news is that just as that caveman does that one breath to trigger that reaction, you can use the opposite way of breathing to trigger the opposite reaction. So this isn't mind over matter, this is a physiological response. So the caveman breathes from his chest, we're aiming to breathe from our tummy. So you might want to put one hand on your chest and one hand on your tummy right now. You'll still probably feel the hand on your chest moving, but just focus on that hand on your tummy moving too. That's right, that's what you want to aim for. And you can breathe in and out through your mouth or your nose, it really doesn't matter. There's some studies that suggest that your nose breathing is makes it more effective, but as long as you're focusing on the counting, that's the most important bit. So if you have enormous lungs, you can breathe in for seven and out for 11. I don't, so I breathe in for three and out for five. So let's do it together now. The hand on your tummy should be the primary one that's moving and you can breathe in and out through your mouth or your nose. So in, two, three, out, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, out, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, out, two, three, four, five. And you keep going with that while I carry on talking. And you might notice that your heart rate's slowing down. You might feel your shoulders starting to relax. You might feel your whole body start to relax. It's also a really, really good technique for getting to sleep. So from yesterday's video, we talked about how important sleep was. If you're struggling to get to sleep, doing a few rounds of this will really help calm you down. And of course, the breathing technique isn't always that exciting to do, especially for kids, teenagers, young children. So the way I teach it is get some bubbles and you go in, two, three. In, two, three. And you'll find that even the teenagers who are not interested in the slightest probably have a go at it. And even if you just let them go and blow the bubbles without doing any counting, any thinking about it, you'll be able to see them start to relax as they just focus on the bubbles. So your aim is to practice that for 10 minutes every day because that way your stress levels will go down and also whenever you need it, it's much easier to fit into it because your body will go, um, oh, I've got used to that. So when we did that, I calm right down. So when you're in a stressful situation, you'll be able to calm right down. It's really difficult to do in a situation if you haven't been practicing it. So that's my top tip, 10 minutes every day. Have a go for a couple of weeks, just like the sleeping, see how it goes, see what difference it makes and enjoy it. Bye-bye.